Order 66's role in the destruction of the Jedi Order is common knowledge among Star Wars fans, and the montage that showed us the slaughter of the Jedi in Revenge of the Sith is one of the most iconic scenes in the whole saga. But for those that watch Star Wars The Clone Wars and know the role of the inhibitor chips in the operation, it may seem strange that the clones of the 501st just accept that Anakin is leading them into the Jedi Temple. Evidently, he must have been exempted from the Order, but was anyone else? Attention, Sergeant on deck! Order 66 itself leaves little to be questioned. Officially, the order read, in the event of Jedi officers acting against the interest of the Republic and after receiving specific orders verified as coming directly from the Supreme Chancellor, GAR commanders will remove those officers by lethal force and command of the GAR will revert to the Supreme Chancellor until a new command structure is established. The inhibitor chips present in nearly all clones forced compliance with this order when issued, meaning that anyone that the clones were trained to recognize as a Jedi would be a target to them. If that was the whole of how the order functioned, the clones probably would have opened fire on Anakin before anyone told them he was no longer a Jedi, as Order 66 was issued to all clones as soon as Anakin left Palpatine's office. Considering that, and considering that Skywalker was the crucial element in Sidious's plan from the very beginning, it's therefore almost certain that Skywalker was programmed as an exception from the Order in advance, during the earlier stages of clone training. Some of you may recall a scene from the Darth Vader comics in which a rogue Jedi issued Order 66 to a group of clones that were working with Vader and several Inquisitors at the time, leading to the clones attacking the Inquisitors. Since they still didn't attack Vader, it's fair to deduce that he was a hard-wired exemption, as opposed to there being a general exemption for fallen Jedi, which there clearly wasn't. We don't know exactly how the inhibitor chips work, but based on the episode arc from season 6 that focuses on them, we can deduce that they probably utilize the subconscious, inhibiting conscious thought in favor of directives with which they had been directly programmed with. Part of this programming likely classified Anakin Skywalker explicitly as not a Jedi, allowing him to lead Operation Nightfall openly. This begs the question, were there any other Jedi that were exempted? The answer, I'm afraid, is probably not. At least, not for true Jedi. No other member of the Jedi Order was essential to the Sith Grand Plan on the level of Anakin Skywalker. And there are no stories at all that would suggest that there are other Jedi that were exempted. But there is a bit of a caveat, and his name is Jorus Sebaoth. Jorus Sebaoth was a clone of esteemed Jedi Master Joros Sebaoth, a friend of Palpatine's who disappeared aboard outbound flight a decade before Order 66. Jorus was created by Palpatine to serve as the administrator and guard for Wayland, a secret facility where Palpatine kept a number of crucial artifacts. Jerus and any other clones like him probably would not have been classified as a Jedi under Order 66. So that's as far as we can theorize about exemptions to Order 66. But as per usual, I want to know what you guys think. Do you have any alternative explanations and would you know any other Jedi clones that could have evaded this order by the virtue of being a clone? Let me know in the comment section below. And just before you go guys, make sure you check out all of those juicy links in the description below to join the wider Geetsleys network. Anyways, as always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.